Hey Crash Dummy fans, uh, this Tycoundry is coming at you with another action figure retro review. Now, again, just before I proceed, I just need to say that these reviews are intended for collectors over the age of uh, 13 years old. Uh, what I'm reviewing today is more Crash Dummy stuff. Uh, this time it's an oldie and newie. It's the old Tyco version and the Hot Wheels version of a similar uh, concept or a similar vehicle and um, what that is is the Crash Dummies lawnmower so the original lawnmower which is the green one back here which has spare tire on it at the moment there was two versions of it released there was a normal release of it or the first release of it came with this figure he was exclusive to this set and his name is Wack, and he basically just reused the the general uh, basic Crash Dummy body, just painted differently. So the same one as slick spin, chip, dent, and I think dash and axle also had the same body. And basically, the idea behind these ones now I generally don't use them that often is that when you hit the buttons, they pop apart. The one reason why I don't generally use these other than just displaying them or having them sit on the vehicles is I'm not sure if you can see it but these pins are very fragile and the way they work is there's a small indentation and there's a small metal wire clip so when you press them in if I can get it to work I might need to move it out of the way when you press it in it holds the leg and arms in place and the head but if you're missing that little clip they won't peg back into place and that was a common breakage point on these older ones the new ones that do this similar feature of all falling apart are a lot better constructed which is why I tend to use them more on the crash videos than the older ones the older ones tend to break a lot easier except the only exceptions are figures like Daryl and spare tire here because their pegs their joints are actually pegged in with solid pegs um, if I take off his leg you can see he, they do have the same kind of indentation but it's a solid piece as part, it's part of the actual leg whereas those are little plastic uh, clip on things so same with the arm spare tires head doesn't come off because of the gimmick and in fact he has no neck articulation as well which is one of the downsides of him but it's also I don't mind it too much because of his actual gimmick which is quite fun so for the lawnmower the vintage one what you did is you'd hit the front the engine block would fly up smack the dummy and in theory it would hit his uh, action feature uh, it was fairly simple constructed uh, it just had solid rolling wheels and this piece, just depending on how hard it hit, would spring up at different levels, and that was the highest it would go to. The wheels don't come off this one, and then you have these parts that just rest on the actual lawnmower. They don't generally clip into place. There's a little bit of a clip here that holds it in place, but it generally doesn't clip into place. What's interesting to notice as well is on the older one is you have double set of pegs. So you have these small pegs up here, which are for the smaller figures like dent and spare tire. And then you have this standard peg down here for the kind of standard dummy. So when you put them in, you could peg them into place and then have them sit on the seat. Right, if I just bend these knees, put them in. And you can actually hold the handles as well. So, it's quite a nice little set. And then they released, <clears throat> in, I think it was 2007, they did this one. This is the newer version. This is the Hot Wheels version. And again, just using, I think this is Crunch, is his name, because his head goes into his body. So, what is a shame about the newer ones is they don't tend to have their names printed on them like the older ones do. So 
and trying to guess which one is which. So for this one, again, it's the bumper that you hit. And when you hit the bumper, the top engine piece flies off and the chair, if I remember correctly, is supposed to eject, but it's not the best of ejections. Let's see if we can do it with him on it. No, he doesn't want to play ball, unfortunately. There's no problem with him out with him not on it. And the wheels also go funny on this one as well. The wheels pop out and go wobbly. So let's see if we can get it to do it again. So yeah. Again, it, depending on how much force you put behind it, if you put too much force they end up breaking. But if you put right enough force you'll end up getting all the features activate. Again, it has you have these pieces that just plug into the side. You can fit the new dummies on them, no problem. And you also have you can also fit some of the old dummies on it if you have the old ones. And just for a standard size dummy, here is racing spin. You can. If you just angle the legs out a touch, you should be able to get them seated on there as well. It does have a seatbelt if you need to actually use it to secure the dummy onto it. But overall, it's a nice feature. It's a bit more solid than the vintage one. The plastic feels a little more sturdier. Um, the same with the dummies, as I said before. The reason why I use the new ones is they feel far more sturdier than these ones. The uh, plastic for the pegs that hold them in seem to, as I say, break quite often. But these guys feel a good bit more solid. So, and they have a bit more of a solid construction to them. Which is why I tend to use these guys a bit more. There's several different versions of these guys. There's guys that split in half, guys that their legs and arms pop off, guys that their um, heads just pop up on and a few other ones which I will hopefully review when I get around to it but overall the lawnmowers were quite nice you can use them pretty much in any sort of setup for the crashes as well which is quite nice um, I got the vintage one second hand so I'm not sure how the sticker placement is there is stickers on it so I think they I don't think they were pre-applied when you get it you have to put them on it but they were put on perfectly on my one or my example of it but overall the new one seems to be far more pricey than the old one even though it's the old one depending on which version of the old one you go for the old one with the dummy and box tends to be the more pricier of the two you can get the lawnmower on its own which isn't too expensive but getting the figure on his own can be quite expensive so if you're in the market for collecting, collecting crash dummy figures, you want mint in box stuff, you, you're going to pay pretty penny for the lawnmower if it has the figure. There, as I said, there was two runs. The first run had the figure in it, and then later on they removed the figure and changed the box art cover. Unfortunately, I don't have the box to show it, but instead of having whack on the cover of the box, they actually changed the box to have one of the Protex suit figures, which I believe is Daryl. Um, in his pro tech suit, which I don't actually have that figure of to show what he looks like, but um, he's basically a tall, slender style um, dummy that has the same pop up head feature as um, pretty much same pop up head features as these guys. So, but uh, overall, it's a really those they're really nice sets. So, if you do pick, want to pick them up. Your best bet is eBay and just check for the uh, how the vehicles are and the condition they're in. So there you go guys, hope you enjoyed this quick video review for the lawnmowers for the Crash Dummy line. For both Crash Dummy lines, I decided to do them both together since there's only the two of them. And they're fairly small uh, small vehicles anyway, so I, I didn't lump them in with the other kind of small vehicle sets because there's two similar vehicles. So overall, I do recommend them. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Cheers.